Having trouble with Turbo Space Program? I'm going to help you out today in mistakes newbies make. The first mistake newbies make when playing KSP is jumping right into sandbox mode. They hit there, they go to start, they have a Mun Colony base planned in their head, and it's going to work perfectly. So they jump into the VAB and get quickly overwhelmed by the sheer amount of just stuff there is in this game so you build something then it doesn't fly it explodes on the launch pad and then you give up and stop playing instead what you want to do is go into career mode here you will have a much slower and less steep learning curve than just going on your own you'll have milestones that you can achieve through missions in the mission control Launch your first vessel. Escape the atmosphere. Orbit Kerbin. These are all hard but attainable goals that you can set for yourself. It is much easier to continue learning and going forward when you're running with milestones. If you're running in an open field, it seems like you've been running forever and you're not getting it. But give yourself milestones and achievements that you can reward yourself with and continue playing with. This is what the learning curve looks like. So don't give up. Another mistake I see newbies make when first playing KSP is giving up too soon because you keep crashing again. Uh oh. And again. Oh, it's bad. It's bad. It's so bad. It's, it's gone very wrong. And again. This is bad. And again. Yeah, that's so not fair. And again. Seven, six, five, four, three, eight, two. No! And then you crash a different way. <laughs> Guys. We got a different sort of crash this time on the one. Then you finally land. All right. <laughs> land. <laughs> And then crash again. <gasps> it's all part of the game and part of the learning experience. When you first learned to ride a bike, you fell down a lot. You got back up again. Accept the fact that you will crash and that it's not a big deal. This will allow you to experiment with your rockets and have more fun. That brings me to my next point. When I first started playing KSP, one of the things that I did wrong was I tried too hard. Let me explain. I tried to build the perfect rocket. It's going to have the maximum fuel efficiency. It's going to get there in the most efficient burn and it's going to do all of the maneuvers that I need to do in one maneuver. When you're first starting out, don't worry about all that. When you're building your rockets, don't worry if you put too much fuel on the rocket or that it's over-engineered. You're probably going to make mistakes anyway, so that over-engineering is going to help you out. For example, this is a rocket for my E-Flyby mission. This is definitely over-engineered, but that's okay because, you know what, it worked. 
So if you followed step one, you should have some missions to guide you along the way in order to give you a sort of writing prompt or, or a rocket prompt in how to build your rocket. For example, here's from my first week of streaming KSP and I'm using a heat shield that is at the top of a rocket and bonus makes it look like a hat. But hey, the mission was accomplished and I learned a lot. Or how about this thing? What is even going on here? Don't even worry that it looks silly. Have fun with it, experiment, see what works, see what doesn't. Don't be afraid to allow your creativity to flow just because it may look silly or it may crash. If something looks ridiculous, you never know. It may just work. Let go. There we go. <laughs> Assuming. <laughs> Uh-oh. Let's talk orbital mechanics real quick. What's on the nav ball? So right now I am pointing prograde. And if you pull up SAS, you might get these, depending on your pilot's level. So I'm pointing prograde right now. That means I'm stepping on the gas, basically. Retrograde, if I'm pointing that way, which is Retrograde, circle with the X in it. That is you stepping on the brakes, so to speak. So when you're using your rocket and I'm pointing retrograde, my orbit will be lower. So if I go to the periaps here and I'm pointed retrograde, I'm basically stepping on the brakes. And so my apoaps will decrease because I'm lowering my, my velocity, my speed here. And if I were to turn on the gas, I would be increasing my apoaps. And so, then there's normal and anti uh, normal and anti normal and radial out and radial in. So the way I think of these is now these are the purple ones, these are the blue ones. Let's go to those. Let's go to normal. Normal is this triangle here that's purple, and that one. I think of as raising your orbit up and down. So if you see this, see how it just raises it up. This would raise it down. And then the radial in and radial out goes left and right. So this shouldn't move a whole lot. See? Moving left and right, but the orbit stays the same, it's just moving it. So that's basic orbital mechanics that you need to know for KSP. It's time for a quick tip. Let's say you have a rocket here, this is just an example rocket, and you're ready to build for your next stage. So you grab your decoupler and you place it at the bottom, and then this happens. This is terrible for aerodynamics and it looks awful. So instead of using a decoupler, you have to use something that I avoided for most of it. And that is called an engine plate. I had no idea what these did, but that's why I'm here to tell you. So we're grabbing the 25 here because we're 25 meters here and putting it there. And you notice that it adds a second lower attachment point here. We'll get to that in a second. So we can attach the engine to the engine plate itself. Now we can go to our fuels and continue building as normal. See? Now it's all filled in. However, you'll notice that there's a lot of wasted space here. But there's a lot of wasted space. What we can do is we can right click the engine plate and then there's medium, medium, long, long, and it makes these different sizes so your engine can fit just about right. So that looks great there. That's one we'll use. And it will decouple this stage and allow you to use your upper stage just as if you put the decoupler down here like you originally wanted. You also use engine plates in order to do cool things like this 
Now this rocket won't need that many, but you can use this trick to upgrade your thrust if you really wanted to. Then you can continue on as normal. Hey, you made it this far into the video, so why don't you subscribe now and then head on over to twitch.tv slash Nanaki underscore TV and give me a follow there. I play KSP, I play Civ 6, EU4, Hearthstone, Chess, all sorts of games. So give me a follow over there and I will be continuing my Mistakes Newbies Make series for all of these games. Alright, so I'm gonna add some distance here. 